welcome back. Hey everyone. Paul Tranny here. Christine Arth. Host, designer. Guest host, designer. Yeah. <laughs> we do it all. We're having an identity crisis it's a little true. bit. It's true. I feel like I'm Paul we, and he's me. Yeah, exactly. And do I design? Do I host? What I don't I do? know. What do I do with my hands? What are we doing? What do I do, what do, with we do? My hands? I know, I'll type. Like yeah. on T-Rex. T-Rex type time. That's what we're going to be doing. T-Rex typing, designing, mm -hmm. day three. So yes. this is fun. Day three of the refresh of Adobe Live. Yeah. Super and, cool. Uh, thank you. The, thank you for all your suggestions and help uh, in terms of design and everything. It's been really good. Yes, so. it's been invaluable. Gaur we see Guarab. Guarab is back. Gaurav. And he's like, hey, guys, Paul Steen. And we're like, it's we're like, here, man. We, we, <laughs> we're here yeah, for your and, art direction. And we see this our, is great. The art directors here as well. So it's yeah. good to have you here. I think we have the whole team here. If you are just joining us for like your first time, I always love to hear from you. Yes. Oh, we see Claudie there. Hello. Good Ooh. to have you as well. Damien. Uh, Arlie, Alexandra, Alexandra Heidi, Polk, mm. Kita, Damien, Voodoo. Yeah, I yeah, can say names jump faster in. than you. Jump in and <laughs> say hi. You can. I read fast. I was I was struggling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some he of needs them. his glasses. Where's Old man my, Paul. Uh, where's my glasses? <laughs> So this is good. We're gonna we have a refresh. Of, yeah, we have of a course, refresh. Adobe Live. We'll do all the things. And a big thank you to Arisi. Yeah. As well as well as, as, well uh, as Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Thanks so, so much for being on. Yeah. And uh, by the way, we're gonna do a random giveaway in about twenty five minutes, and then also we get to do portfolio reviews today. Oh, today we do. Yeah. Oh, fun. So get those good. in. You can see the yeah. portfolio review tab over that direction. I think. I think it's to this side. So I think so. Just go yeah. ahead and unless it's to this side. Yeah. <laughs> just Either way, we'll be super critical. So definitely send in your portfolio so that we can make you famous. For sure. All right. So let's kind of dive into this. Yeah. Shall we? Yes, we shall. All right. Um, maybe we uh, talk a little bit about where we've been and what we're up to. I'll throw uh, uh, put my screen up and show where we started. So. Our task from Adobe was to come up with a new look and feel for Adobe Live. So what we did is take a brief and created what the current experience is for Adobe so that we can mirror and match what the presence is for them. Uh, you can see a lot of black. You can see a lot of color. It's very vibrant and vivid. Um, and what we need to do is take a look and create thumbnails for Better Know a Brush, for the categories and for a one hour show that highlights uh, Adobe XD. So our requirements are pretty minimal. It's just headshot, segment title, and product reference. And when we look at where we currently are with the look and feel, this is the full page and you can see how it's seen um, you know, when you're looking at it on your screen. And when you actually go to Adobe Live, you'll see that there's category headers up here. We have an area for one major show, which is happening right now. Which is us. No, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're on. We're on. Yeah, we're on. <laughs> Wait, we're live? We're li what? This isn't just What's your happening? backyard. <laughs> uh, there is. Thank you so much to our studio audience, too, for joining us today. Yes. Thanks, guys. Insert clapping sound. Hey, it's good to have you here. Hey. Hey, see you there. Oh. <laughs> So we've got our look and feel for what it looks like on the page, and then our category thumbnails, our homepage thumbnails, and then what we're going to do to redesign the guest feature thumbnails. So that being said, I'm going to look over at our assets that we pulled together. We have all of our logos for the programs that we're highlighting. We've got our Adobe Clean font family so that we're consistent within what we're doing for Adobe, always making sure that we are heralding that consistency because that's what I do best is consistency. Mm -hmm. um, herald it. And like big hair, I do that too. You do big hair <laughs> I well. herald big hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got our color palette and then I pulled some images to show how we can actually bring in something that is variant. So with images, when we work with designers and we're pulling their images, they send us the thumbnail of their uh, work and then they send us a picture of themselves. So sometimes we get photos that are black and white, we get ones that are very up close, far away, um, some portraits, and then even some that have their own color theme. So we're trying to create, uh, use these to look at how the variations will happen as we create the thumbnails so that we're prepared for you know, overt uh, color that might not match ours, or black and white where we have no color. So what we're tasked to do today, and I put a key together to show us what we have to create, is we're doing category thumbnails, primary features, 
what's new add-on for those primary features as far as like how can we gussy them up a little bit to say like, hey, this is separate than the primary feature because we're showing new features of that program. Better know a brush, which is a standalone program that could proliferate out into other areas. And then designing an Adobe XD, which could also, um, well, that's also a standalone. That won't necessarily mm. proliferate out in anything. It's pretty specific. <laughs> yeah. Um, then Creative Mornings and Daily Creative, creative Challenge. That's the one I need to work on. That is, that is now I'm going to take that back over to you. So okay. I'm going to say we are also designing these special shows, and these should be slightly similar, but different. So before I hop over to your screen, I'll show where I ended last uh, yesterday. So we have our we have a look that we can then apply, and what I'm doing down here is applying it to how we can create that with artistic backgrounds of the artist or designer themselves, and then adding in their photo in a way that makes sense to correlate with the specific program that they're designing for. And then for creative mornings, daily challenges, and better know a brush, mm -hmm. you're creating new look and feel that will then change from what this is so that we can excite people and we can show that that is different. So let's take a look at Paul's screen. Well, all right. So we'll switch over here. You see, obviously, I am in Photoshop. Um, and this is kind of where this actually started dropping everything in on this page. Mm. I was like, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that is I you. got so excited. I was like, that's I know not, that person. No, I was just trying. Like, yeah. intimately. It's weird. Mm, I know, right? I know, yeah. You recognize some of that stuff. Yeah, hey, guys. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I was trying to, like, just see how a lot of this was looking in the page, mm -hmm. which I thought was, like, good. I really like this blue. What do you think? Do you like this blue? Because I, I know you. it is your it's favorite color. It's my favorite color. blue. I'm wearing that blue ring that I married myself with. Bam! There it is, <laughs> and uh, so that's what I was. That's what I was doing. I like it. I'll mm -hmm. show you the different ones, by the way, as we get into this. Uh, daily creative challenge. So this is, of course, we have a Photoshop one, and then Ooh. we have an XD one. And we could have other ones, which is pretty cool because we you're could. creating a system mm -hmm. that could work for all the shows. Yes. And well, I want I want an Illustrator Voodoo challenge. Oh, oh, Voodoo. Voodoo. oh, thank you. What's hello, up? Ha hello, Howard. Good to see you. Hey, Howard. Voodoo Val as well. Uh, I think I actually have, so obviously I'm using you here. There, there you are as well. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Voodoo Val, can you just, can, we need some higher res versions of you yeah, out there. Yeah, send us a photo right now in real For time. For such a lovely lady, you should have more pictures of yourself online. Mm -hmm. Is that wrong to say? But, but we, no, we I don't those. think so. She's very cool, yeah. and I want to see more photos of yeah, her And she has world. amazing uh, amazing art. So actually, yeah, her work I have awesome. that kind of behind there as well. Cool. So, so send us a higher res. I would say the same for Dave Arcade because I was working with a low res photo yeah, of him and I was like, I was really like Dave, I need a really good photo of you. You have a yeah, cool beard. You got a cool, cool beard, man. Beard. Glorious beard. Show it off. Stroke that beard. So. Yes. I think I just heard my phone ping. He might have sent me a photo immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, right. yeah. Just a selfie? That was, <laughs> yeah. That was so fast. That was so fast. <laughs> yeah, we are friends, um, so. <laughs> So I guess the big thing here is like uh, sometimes the colors work, sometimes they don't. But her art works Ooh. amazing. I don't want to. Well, I was kind of playing with black and white, but I, yeah. But I, I want to know about what's going on around that because what's the idea with the creative challenge, and then why the numbers and you oh, know I'm highlighting sorry. the logos. And yeah. All that. So I'm curious because we didn't get to share this part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're kind of new yeah. here. And while you do that, I'm going to work. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's get to work. I'm working. <laughs> so, but everybody can see we have one, two, three. So I'm trying to just emulate steps that you would do. This is for Photoshop, which is why we have the little Photoshop icon uh, right up here, as you can see. Zoop. Um, and then, of course, it's going to be blue because it's also Photoshop. I was playing with, of course, I could have Voodoo Val's artwork for when she's hosting. Or I also have like a generic version as well, like this version. This is something I did. You guys might really like this because I, I found this hugely beneficial, by the way. This happens to be an Illustrator file, and I'm going to open this up. The problem with this current design is like these colors are chaotic, and we just got to kind of like unify them, mm -hmm. which I'm actually going to do in Illustrator. Ooh, which is FYI. Look at you. So, again, this is my Illustrator file. I'm just going to select everything. We'll go to Edit, and we're going to recolor artwork right here. As so, you should. As you should. <laughs> and look, look at all these crazy colors. Look at all those crazy colors. First off, I could take all of these colors and I can consolidate them down into like five if I want to. And by the way, I get it. Some of these are really muddy. I can start to work on, you know, just making this look sort of, uh, we want to go 
kind of like that. I'm gonna, I'm just going cooler, basically blues to purples. Something like this is like gonna be much better for, uh, for uh, kind of showing off Photoshop, basically, is what I'm doing. And let's pick in colors. Let's go right about there. Let's click OK. And again, I can. This is this is why I love Illustrator is the fact that I can just jump in and change this stuff really easily. Let's go. Okay, this is actually just much better. Taking this, copying it, and I'll drop it in there. And have it like that. Love it. Try Tinsor Hue, yeah. So there's about a thousand things I could have done in there, by the way. Like, I could have gotten really specific. I could have pared down those colors some more. There's like so much you can do in recolor artwork. And by the way, there's a lot you can do in general right over here if I just take a look at anything. So go edit, edit colors, and then you have, you know, if you just want to adjust the color balance overall, you have all these other options as well, convert to grayscale. By the way, I don't know if you saw this. No. But, uh, no. <laughs> no. 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 I saw nothing. No. I'm working. Don't talk to me. I didn't see a thing. <laughs> You're already denying it. I You're not it. in trouble. I was like, no, I You're didn't see it. You're not in trouble. It's okay. <laughs> uh, uh, but basically, no, my boss, Rufus Deutschler. I love he, Rufus. He uh, snuck a new feature, which is a, sort of a recolor artwork. Basically what? taking, if you're working on that design. Yeah and maybe it's just a raster image, yeah. I can be an illustrator and I could steal all those colors. Oh, I love that. And apply it to my design. Of course Uncle Rufus did that. Uncle Rufus did He's it. my Uncle and Rufus. And it was amazing. Not in real Speaking life. Speaking also of people that just have great beards lately. Right? I his, know. His beard, I'm like, man, on, I want a beard. good lately, man. Just got I that know. style. Totally. Really into it. So, so anyway, style. so that was like last week, there was a sneak illustrator recoloring artwork. Absolutely. But dropping that in there, there we, this actually looks much better. So again, old version, new ugly version. colors, new version, recolored, it works out You're like, old well. version, ugly. Old version, <laughs> new version, amazing. Old, old version, <laughs> ugly. That's I also, I want to see the two a little bit more because I can't see it right now. The what? The two, the number two. I know, that's. I want that to pop out You got more. it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly because uh, I want I know that like it's one, two, three, and I want people to I'm understand it, that boss. it's like step by step, they're gonna learn. Um it was funny, Kita had a had a message in there earlier. She's like, How late did you guys stay here and work on all of this? And I was like, We didn't. We <laughs> had to go back to our other work. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so we're just picking up where we left off right now. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty much, pretty much. Pretty that's much, exactly yeah. right. So that being said, that's why right now. <laughs> well, and I would like to say that we didn't want to. I didn't want to proceed without anybody else them joining us. Oh yeah, me either. Like, and plus, that's what uh, that's my excuse. Oh, that's your excuse. For... Mine was I was too busy. I had <laughs> client work to do. I was like, ugh. <laughs> um, that's why now I'm looking at the designs that I did from yesterday. And I'm like, okay, now I need to make sure that it has a system to it. So I've got the look that I like, but it, if you can see what I'm working on, you can see that um, I'm creating a system that, like right now I'm going to use something that's more adaptable for uh, other people to use this system. Because I could do this, but this is a little bit complicated the way I've designed it with these multiple pieces. So I'm going to now recreate these where it's very simple in specific layers. So you can see how I did that, and then you'll see how I undo it. <laughs> Very cool. And so I'm, cool. I'm, I like it. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. I'm, I'm gonna. I might steal some of that. I, I need steal to work it. on the Creative Mornings one, though. Oh yeah, we need Creative Mornings big time. Uh, field. Field time. Oh, this uh, is gonna uh, be. A, uh, this is gonna be interesting, and I want to know what you think of this. This is Creative yeah. Mornings. This is Field Trip. Mm -hmm. uh, F I E L D. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Aren't we? How do you spell how, field how does trips? <laughs> Aren't we going to um, create uh, backgrounds in there that can resemble the field trips, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, but this is this is what I think is really cool about what's already out there mm -hmm. is uh, I, I actually do like the um, playful like script text for, yes. for field trip. Yeah. So I'm I'm probably going to deviate a little bit, and uh, we'll see what happens. Because again, I think these sort of special episodes can be a little bit different. I think so if too. That's, if that's okay. So let's let's find a font. Do it. Oh yeah, they should be more fun. I think that's true. Like those shouldn't look like these. They should be like exciting and field trip. Yeah. Should feel like field and trip. Feel a little. And I know different. that Paula, that you're good at picking out fonts because I saw your itinerary that you created yesterday for you and your um, 
lady friend to mm-hmm. go to Cuba and it had a Havana font at the top of it yeah. with all of his itinerary. And I was like, did you design your itinerary? And then I was like, nerd. <laughs> yeah, I did design it. You did. It's all designed. It's all designed. It's all designed and he has all the things they're going to do. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. I was like, probably what I spent most of the time on over the actual information. You're like, I booked us a bunch of things, but I also (laughs) designed the itinerary. (laughs) I mainly designed the itinerary. That's something my dad would do. (laughs) Just saying. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it looks so good. It looks so good. So, welcome everyone. Just so you welcome. know, we're gonna do a random chat one giveaway in less oh, than 15 yeah. minutes. Oh yeah, what are we giving away again? I know what we're giving away, I just want you to say it. Uh, sticker mule? Yes, 100 stickers for sticker mule. Stick a, stick a mule? Totally. Hello from Morocco, <gasps> oh, Midway Asian. Well, how do I say your know? name? I'm not, you're actually. Wait, which one? Where? Midway. Oh, Mediasin. Mediasin. Hamdoi. Wow. Hamdeo. Amazing. Hamdeo. Hello from I Morocco. Where, where in Morocco? Although if you named outside of three places, I wouldn't know of it. Monir's from Morocco, but he now lives in Turkey. I know that about him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's not creepy. Okay. No, that's <laughs> it's like so I know a lot about Monir. <laughs> that's funny for me. But uh, I always like to hear where people are from, by the way. Yeah, me too. Uh, and thank you so much, Gor- uh, our art directors. Gorav. Gorav. Gorav is. Uh, He's from Denver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not from here. Yeah. Where the Earth? Earth. Earth. Okay. But yeah, let's try some fun fonts in here. Yeah, could you do so something you fun, Paul? I'd really like that. Can you just like make, you just it, make better? it better? Can you make it fun? Can you just do better? Can you just do your job. <laughs> Can you just do your job like just better? Like just, you know, at all. <laughs> Don't you love that? Oh Garab's like, yeah, can you guys do sure. your work? <laughs> all right, what I can do is right over here. Just so you know. And by the way, we're doing like a, a zoomed in version of uh, Ooh, yes. this, of the split screen too. Nice. By the way. Oh, uh, are we? Yeah. Just That's like not mine. So again, script font. <laughs> this is in in uh, Photoshop, and actually, it's even cooler in Illustrator because you because yeah. you can actually find fonts that are not on your desktop. But now you can see coolest. me kind of flip through this. And by the way, I can actually make that larger. Let's pick a font. Pick a font. What would field trip feel like? I feel like field gonna, trips are this maybe. This is what I always end up doing. Oh, I just, really? I load up. I load oh, yeah, up you load a up lot. a bunch. Yeah. I want to see something for a field trip that feels like, um, like Wes Anderson style, um, like we're camping, like camping style, like like a serif but uppercase condensed and, yeah. Okay. I think that would be I fun. Will. See what or that. So maybe not a script. <laughs> yeah, maybe not a script. Okay. Or maybe it's sans serif uppercase condensed. That feels like chunky. Like um, I think you had Acumen yesterday, but I'm wondering. There's a couple fonts that I uploaded in here that I'm curious about. Yeah, some of these. That's the thing about script fonts; it can be tough to read. Um, um there was. But okay. Um, I think Boven. There was Boven. That one was kind of fun. Let me show you really quick. Oh. Um, Hello from Vienna, South Africa, Connor. Good to have you one. here. Look, this one. That could be fun for field trip. Okay, see right down there? Uh, that one that you have right there? What yeah. is that? Yeah, Boven. I think Boven. that's an Adobe font. Let me. I believe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm full yeah. of, you no. know. A bu- oh, I like that one too. Yeah. So, yeah. Never, mind. Right. never mind. Never mind. I like no, that one. I got Wait, it, you I got got it yeah. saved too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. So now that I've got my palette in a place where it's actually workable and easy to use, I'm recreating this so that there are, I can make masks and, well first I've gotta make these match what was there before with the little app rounded corners. Do do do. Corner radius, love you. God, that changed my life when they made that. The the corner radius. Yeah. I was like, what? Did you know? Yeah, Photoshop has that as well. Really? Yeah. What? See, these are the things you learn when you hang out with Paul. Tricks. Tricks. <laughs> You're like, yeah, Tricks. so re- like real fast, we could also like share my screen. Yeah, so let's it, it split does, them. It, well, I mean, just so you know, like you can't, you can take, of course, the rounded rectangles. So when you do that, right over here in your properties panel, if I make this larger, zoop, mm-hmm. you can see 
And then you can, this is like what people, I think this is like, I'm a, I'm a cool designer, see what I did there? Totally. I made the opposing corners sharp. I love that. So anyway, but this is the thing, because as soon as you rotate it. What happens? Um, I can't, I can't handle it. What happens? <laughs> uh, it, it disappears. Like you no longer have that functionality. That's something we need to work on. That's cool though. I mean like but that's doable. Way. We can work on that. Right, Uncle Rufus, wherever you are? We can work on that. All okay. right, so. Um, so, yeah, so I've got that. Deleting Boven, those. BOV. Yeah, it might work, I don't know. It might not be in there. Yeah, okay, but I. But you found I other ones. See. Oh, that's cool. That, that's, Nazar, that has some. Nazar. Got some character to it. Yeah, font names, however, Get I'm really it. bad at character. pronouncing. Got some character to it. Okay, so I am going to. All right. Paul, do you have a, well, I like this photo because it's black and white and I want to show that. Um, I'm gonna do you need another one? No, I don't. I'm gonna put you in photography because you're working in Photoshop right now. <sighs> okay. Um, where do you go for, like, and I hate this, I kind of hate asking this question yep. too, but like, uh, Tell me the like where do you, you go hate. for like, like inspiration or something? Like where do you, do you Pinterest? have like, Pinterest? Yeah, yeah 100%. I, Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I can't help myself. I'm wondering when um, Behance will do a feature like Pinterest where it's like boards like that mm -hmm. instead of painting people's work where, um, I have a feeling that they would be awesome at it because most of the work that I pin and that I look at is on Behance already, but it's just curated on Pinterest in a nice way that I like. Okay, very cool, yeah, I, I agree. I use it a lot as well. What do you think of this one? Oh, I like that, yeah, that's, that's fun. Kind of fun. Yeah, huh? it feels like retro mm -hmm. 60s style, like we're getting on a bus, you might not know where you're going. <laughs> All right. Because that's not creepy. Let's try. Easily. Um, yeah. Oh, that is kind of cool. I gotta change. I gotta change this up still, but I, that's fun. That's a fun retro look. I love that for field trips. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Um. And then I need. What do you need? Do you need a coffee? I do. <laughs> You're I like, because you have I, two over there. <laughs> I only had some coffee with me. Uh, How many drinks can you have? I'm you look like me yesterday. You are out of coasters. Oh, two, thi two things, real fast. Yes. We're working on this. We have so much work to do, by the way. Yeah. And then, and we're also going to do portfolio reviews, FYI. Yeah. But they said, like, also we could always make social media like templates. Yeah. And just FYI, they threw it out. At me yesterday, I want to tell you, uh -huh. making like Adobe Live, what was it, Adobe Live coasters. <gasps> I love that, yeah. And I like the idea of just making Adobe Live like stickers. Yeah, all the stickers things. Stickers and all the stuff. All the stuff, yes. Like, yes. I, was, I, didn't, I didn't commit to it, but I was like, You're remind like, me but tomorrow. But we could. Um, yeah, 100%, we're doing that, because that's what we want, all the things. Okay, so I'm we putting that in a background layer, that way I've got these, which are gonna be editable and separate. I'm gonna use them as masks, but I'm also gonna com create compound objects with these. Oh, see, look, I found one back there that shouldn't be there. I'm gonna create compound objects with these so that I can use them to mask out the photography below, and it'll make it much simpler. So first off, let me make sure that all of those layers don't have these little duplicate layers back there. And then these, looks like that's got them too. All right, so filling those in. And um, I'm gonna bring that stroke down to one, fill it, expand the shape. I'm gonna do this as a whole. So I can do all of them together at the same time. Are you still gonna? Okay, I'm gonna I mask it gonna... out. Yeah, I'm just creating the objects so that they're useful. Because right now they're not actually that useful. Cool. Okay. So first expanding the stroke so that it'll be inside <sighs> that. And then I'm gonna take each
each of these individually and combine the stroke in a compound path and expand it in shape mode. So what I'm doing is taking the path and making it combined with the background shape. It looks like nothing, but it's gonna be great. So this way we can put two people together in this option. And I am going to make those a color so they can see that. And then for this option, I am going to mask them so that would be how one person would go together. And then ungroup them. All right, so now that I have these, I'm just making it so the assets are available. I'm going to Can put I? myself in there. You do that. I'm doing I, gotta, that. I have a little tip to show Yeah. while you do that. Do it, yeah. All right. First off, I've found some cool graphics, by the way, that I'm gonna try to work in there. <gasps> yeah. This is more camping, but I when I think of field, tri field trips is kind of camping. School like. and camping, yeah. Uh, so this is a situation where basically like, this is all one shape, and this is typically what happens, just to prove it. Prove it, Paul. Um, uh, prove that see, it's one shape. It's all one shape. <laughs> I told so, you. So this is what people typically do. Like again, this is all one shape. I'm like, okay, I gotta go through and I, I wanna like get rid of all that text even though this is one shape. You'll go in and use the direct selection tool and start deleting. Mm -hmm. That's what most people will do. You don't have to do that actually at all. <laughs> I just select the whole thing and then if you use right over here, the shape builder tool, Boop. Ooh. Shape builder. Building shapes. And then you just get a you just get a scribble over it. So I'm like, connect this with this with this. Love that. Just scribbling over everything and it will combine it as oh. you can see. I'm gonna use that later today. Yeah, it's so nice. And then if you hold down the option key it will remove. But you get the idea. Travel with us. That's a fun phrase too. That is fun. Travel with us is like, great. Like, come on over, everybody. Yeah. Let's travel hmm. together. Because I'm wondering if for this, I'm going to bring that in here. Sorry, Talon, I love you, buddy. But you're out. <laughs> field, field trips aren't really about any one person. And I'm glad we're doing this because mm -hmm. there's like lots of different variables as you dive into it. Yep, 100%. So, so what do we do? Good luck with that. Christine, do you mm -hmm. enjoy what you do? God, I love what I do, yes. I made a purpose in my life to develop a life that I love to live. <laughs> uh, guest feature thumbnail, single guest. That's so, pretty awesome. Yeah. I know you're talking, because you basically, like, you have your own business. Mm -hmm. And I asked you the other day, I was like, hey, you know, I know you're really busy. What if you, like, hired somebody? And what did you say? I said no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Employees um, are the worst. <laughs> no, I've no. managed people before, and I think the whole reason that I've mainly made a consultancy with a partnership of my strategist is so that I can do the work. Because I don't want to sell people the idea of working with me and what I'm going to offer if they don't actually get to work with me. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of my clients will seek me out because they want to work with me specifically and you know use my brain and my knowledge to create what we're trying to do together. Mm -hmm. So if I sell them that and then I go have someone else do it, then they're not really getting that value. Um, and I also want to do the work. Uh, so that's why I've made a, I've made it available for myself so that I can do that. Yeah, that is that is cool. I mean, that's and I really love the work. I think over time I, I realized that I, managing was really fun and I really enjoyed teaching people and helping them grow and growing their own careers and you know still getting to be client facing and do the work but not in the capacity that I love. So yeah. Oh, it's that's time! Great. It's a challenge time. Ah, Fireworks! Oh, Fireworks! Oh. What's happening? Okay. Pink or, pink or blue? Everywhere. <laughs> pink or blue? What? Which give color? Us, give us your favorite color. Yeah. Well, let's dive into the chat and win. And we're back. 
<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Hi. Good to have you. Good to have you here. We're glad Milton, you're here. Milton's favorite color is pink. Kerwin. Ooh, yeah, Milton, me too. Actually, my favorite color is blue, but I'm wearing pink. And uh, Jordan, so basically purple, pink or blue. You do see now that it's a little bit of a delay, but there's a little bit of a delay. But Jordan general, said purple because it's a mix. Yeah, I like it. that. Smart. Uh, but go ahead and basically by saying something in the chat, you get entered to win a um, hundred stickers from win Sticker Mule. Hundred stickers. What would get you do with your stickers, Paul? What would you create first? I would, I would, you know what? I'd create little ones, and yeah. I would just, I would do uh, little like positive phrases of like, "Your hair looks nice today." Oh and my then, gosh! And then Thank I just you. randomly like stick them places, <laughs> like on my back. It's all positive. <laughs> or in my yeah, hair. Yeah, I'm like the yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Polk Sound. Polk you Sound. You did it. Isn't you get that, to make what you want. That's Polk Audio too. They make really nice speakers. I wonder if that's the same person. Yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah, very Such inter a unique interesting. name. Hmm. I like it. Easy to spell, too. Easy by to the spell, way. yes. Uh, unique and easy to spell. Yes. Two awesome things when designing a brand and coming up with a name. Yeah, naming 100%. Everybody else, uh, 10 stickers for a buck right there. Yeah. Create those. Create them. Positive little stickers. Make those you've got good hair today stickers and yeah. then send us each one because our looking, hair looks fantastic. Your, your hair really looks great, today. by the way. Yeah. It does. I'm so glad so does that. Yours. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we have great hair, you guys. Keep it. Mm -hmm. Keep it positive. Mm -hmm. And actually, as you get older, you just want to keep. Yeah, just it. keep the hair. Totally. Keep the hair. <laughs> so when you get older, you're like, instead of hey, your hair looks nice. It's like, like hey, you've you got you hair. Have, you have hair. You've got high hair. Five. <laughs> high five for that. <laughs> Good hair. Hundred <laughs> so percent. Oh, too funny. All right. All right, we're doing it. We are doing it. We're doing we're it. Bouncing between apps. Yeah, we are. This is so much fun. Okay. Um, By see. the way, like, hopefully, I don't know if people like the new, I like the new properties panel in uh, good old Illustrator. Like, yeah? it has, like, everything I need. Oh, I never use that. Like, if you just, <laughs> if you, so, no, but you, you should. I should, but like, I don't. if you just, like, I have two objects selected, so it's gonna go ahead and give me, it gives you everything that's appropriate for what you're trying to do. So if you have two objects yeah. selected, it knows you're gonna try to align them or add or subtract or something. And like that's it. obviously what I'm actually doing here. You're like, I'm doing that. You know, I'm like, minus <laughs> front sort of thing. It's actually not bad, but. I gotta right. do some ungrouping. First. I noticed that one was off. You weren't centered, Paul. I had to center you. Yeah, I'm not. 100%. In general. In general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Paul. Okay, so this is going to be a double feature. So deleting him. Wait. Yeah. Not deleting him. Just changing him. He is now here. And let's see. We want to place one more person in here. Let's go to. All right, Anthony, welcome. How late are you? You just arrived? We can just start all over from the first Let's day. Let's start all over from day one. Hey, Anthony, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> My name is Paul. Exactly. You're like, I'm Paul. Hi. Hi, Paul. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I thought I'd design some things for Adobe Live. Let's, like, redesign stuff. Love it. Sounds good? Yeah. Let's, let's Sounds get really after good. It. Get after it. Getting after it. What's uh, your... Oh, wait, are we talking Avengers spoilers? Never in a million years. Never. No, plus I've never even seen the Avengers, you would, so... You would just get cut off so fast. So fast. Did you say you've never... I've seen some oh, Avenger, okay. like one of them. That one time? I've just seen an Avenger. It, have you seen any of the superhero? Like, yeah, you've yeah, seen yeah, yeah. Super yeah. Oh, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. saw like one, because there was like, there's three of them. Oh, yeah, then I haven't seen all of them. I'm more into like the Lord of the Rings and uh, that era of sci-fi, not the superhero. I'm more sci-fi than superhero. You're more, uh, yeah, like fantasy, yeah. maybe a little bit? Yeah, yeah, superhero, I'm kind of like, meh. I don't really want to have a superpower. I would rather like see other worlds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Are you into Game of Thrones now? Yes, yes I am. As <laughs> I got really excited, I'm like, Whoa. And no, no Game of Thrones spoilers no, either. None Just of those. in case. No. I know. Like what is I would like to know what is the proper wait time before you could start talking publicly. Probably about never. Until like someone from the New York Times has done it. <laughs> like, do you wait for it to I think a month. 
A month? Yeah. Good for you. I'd probably go more. <laughs> I'd probably just more. don't. It's kind of like, you know, unless they're holding and the baby, that... you don't ask if it's their baby. <laughs> Yeah. You just can't talk about it. You just it. can't talk about it. Paul Trini what if you want and like, you want a couple people. His yeah. best friend. This is great. This is when you have people yeah, so on. A, it was amazing. Rod likes it. Uh, oh, uh, have you watched the Star War? That's funny. The Star War? Is it like How, just one? Howard's poking fun at Voodoo Val because she's really into Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me and her are like, yes. <laughs> I love Star Wars. Do you? <laughs> yes. Good. Sweet. So do I. I love Lord of the Rings too. I also love yeah. the Harry Potter books. Or well, I haven't read the books, but I like the movies. Yeah. So I like do. Voldemort. No, uh, um, Sneer, Sirius Snape. He's my favorite. Okay. Who's your favorite yeah, Harry, Harry Potter character? <sighs> Think about it, because we know that you're Huff and Puff. Or oh, Hufflepuff. Huff, 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 I'm, I'm like you're Huff and Puff. Puff. <laughs> Whoa, that is. I know I'm from Colorado, but no, not a Huff and Puff. <laughs> That's from I'm like Hufflepuff. the dragon. <laughs> yeah, you're Hufflepuff and no, I, I am I Slytherin. We yeah, know this. you're Slytherin. <laughs> you, you are not surprised by that at all. I, I, <laughs> you're like, yeah, you oh, are. That's funny. You are Slytherin. I that's know, funny. I know. All right, I'm working. Um, <laughs> I'm yeah. working. Leave me be. I've been, I've just been staring at this for a while. You're like, I'm I have like, a what deadline. Am I, doing? I got a deadline. You have a deadline. You should be working harder, together, Paul. I can't believe you're slacking us. off the way that you are. It's like you're just making me do everything over here. So many, uh, so many, like I don't know, so many fun things to get into. Like so Harry many. Potter and like Potter. Avengers, awesome. Like go watch yeah. it this weekend. Oh, is that out this weekend? A new the, one? The The Avengers Endgame. Sorry, I've been like kind She's of. She's been so busy. I've been holed up in my apartment, like slaving away, and I'm not disappointed by that. By the way, I've been really having fun. So. Okay. Yeah, you've been. I don't know. You don't strike me as a person that like watches a lot of shows. No, I don't. You're not like. I will you, watch. No, I don't some, do that. No. I read a lot. I read a lot of books. Okay. Um, and I talk to my folks a lot. <laughs> okay. So no, like that's sometimes, good. like I feel like sometimes you're, you're participating I get, in life. I am. I'm participating in life. Sometimes they will fill me in on certain things, which is nice. Oh, okay. Like the news. My dad's like, "Did you hear about X?" And I'm like, "Oh, thank goodness you're here. <laughs> I would never know about that." Oh, that's that's funny. Yeah. I'm into the news. I, yeah, I, I like. the news finds me. Yeah, that's. It's one way to go about it. Okay, so I need, let me just drop something in really fast and then I have a question. Okay. Is it for me or them? It's for, it's for everyone. It's for everyone. Um, Talon. Let's see. Who I call him use? Talent, because he's so talented. He's so talented? Talented. Oh, I haven't used this guy. Great. This guy uh, will be with me. Hmm. I got a great idea. What is it? I cannot wait. Okay, so mm -hmm. I turn, I, I play with this. I turn the trees and stuff into like paintbrushes. Oh yeah, yeah, that's so Things good. Things like that. That's so good. Right? And I like that there's kind of like a heart going on too. It's like, we love you, we're from Adobe. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> but it's cute. I will, yeah. I don't, I, I, I was gonna see get it. rid of it. I see it, but <laughs> like. get mad if I get rid I, of it. No, not at all. But like, I need to combine these with like, you know, graphic design type elements or paint, paint brushes, something like that. Some of these like icons, stuff like that. That's what I'm gonna do. Perfect. I just, okay. I love that. Okay, Adrant Guarab is really, Bert he's that. <laughs> Assuming his responsibility as art director. I like it. Into it. Into it. I'm making Bember and Batch Cumberbottom. <laughs> these are the Bim brothers that Bimber. are going to be on a what show you, for photos. Come up with these names. <laughs> it's Bember Batch or Bember. What is his name? <laughs> Benedict. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbottom. Cumber, Cumber, Cumber Cumberbatch. Cumber, Cumberbatch. <laughs> I can never <laughs> say his name right, so I just fumble it around. I'm like, mm, yeah, it'll be you fine. Kill me. You're killing me. Well, I had him, so I had to do a dual one. So there's him when he's alone, and then him with his brother. They're brothers now. Okay. They look related. Okay. We have Timo Beast and Anel, and this would just be Anel. Uh, so I wanna show people how we're going to extend these if there's multiple people and if they're from a studio. So this is Paul and his best friend. Maybe we can put in a name. Um, she clearly likes me. She's like, yeah. you, leave me alone. I'm not even Jasmine gonna look friend. at you. Or Jasmine. Let's do Jasmine Red Hat. I like that. Paul and Jasmine Red Hat. <laughs> Jasmine red hat. She's wearing a red hat. <laughs> See? It. You're gonna do photography with them. <laughs> oh, and we have Rick and Terry Cumberbottom, the parents of Bember and Batch Cumberbottom. 
<laughs> and this is just Rick. That is funny. Yeah, Rick Cumberbottom. And we'll say he's formal here, so we'll call him Richard. <laughs> These are my new friends. See, this is what I do all day. This is why I don't have to leave my house. Right. I'm like making just, friends in my computer. Like, yeah, busy entertaining yourself. So sad. Uh, <laughs> but awesome. Boom. Okay. Look at that. Boom. Oh, look at that. You are so good. Boom. This is why we have to tag I just, team. This is just like clip, not clip art, but just Adobe stock. Okay, right? so I had another idea that you're going to like. So you know how Talk we have to, to do a what's Bring new it. idea for this? When we do what's new, I'm going to put in all of these little um, effects on the side for the what's new version. So that way, when it's what's new, it's got these little um, Memphis style okay. effects. Cool. So we've got one, we've got single. So this is what a single guest looks like. Could this you... is what double guests. Oops. Locked yeah, up. I like the idea of like ex like maybe exciting lines. Yeah. Would be kind of cool. Yeah. Too. Double guest. Double guest profile. Um, and then this is going to be thumbnail single guest profile. All right. So what I'm doing right now is technically preparing my preparing my um, presentation while I work because I'm like, oh, I know that I will be presenting a single guest profile to our client, a double guest profile. So therefore, I won't have to do all of this work later. And it helps me when I'm designing too because I'm like, huh. And this is category, category feature all thumbnail. Right. What am I watching? What are you watching? Uh, juice box. Good question, Juice Box. <laughs> I want to know what type of name is Juice Box, but I'm into it. Juice Box. 1991. 1991. I bet I could guess what year you were born. Uh, but yes, we are redesigning Adobe Live. So the experience around you, that's what we're designing. So we have different shows and uh, various guests that are being hosted. Yep. Uh, like Christine and who we had today. We had Arisi and then Jesus and all this stuff. So totally. A lot going on. Lots going on. By the way, you can always check the replays above us, but not now. Do it over the weekend. Do it over the weekend. You can go through like withdrawals. Yeah. If you, when you miss us, you can mm -hmm. see us all the time. We're always there for yeah, you. <laughs> we are always, <laughs> always there. even when you don't want us to be. What's new thumbnail? Um, yeah, even when you don't want us there, we're there. Sneaky, creepy. Yep. So when we so do what's new currently, I want to go take a look at that and see how we're treating it, just so that I know. Okay. So right now we do what's new in Photoshop with Jesus Ramirez. All right, so what's new in Photoshop? That's, is that more important than the person doing it? I think so, right? I think at that point, yes. Yeah, okay, great. That's all I needed to know. So now I'm back over here and I'm you going to feature it. what's new. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Keita, I'm, I'm not really doing a double sh exposure. I'm just creating these different filled shapes. Uh, I think this is put together pretty well. So basically this whole group, if we could switch over just really fast. This is really fun. So this whole group, this is just the sort of the, I don't know, the sort of the, the it's, Kind of like the whole mask, basically. Anything I put in here gets masked out. And, and what's up above, these are the clipping masks that are being filled inside of there. So uh, that just kind of gives me the ability to move around all this stuff and maybe turn off some of it. It's awfully messy right now, but I just got to get my act together. What yeah, is, like you're really, yeah, stuff. man, what's going on? I feel like you're moving so fast and I'm just like staring at <laughs> Well, this. you're creating like very deep things and I'm just systemizing now. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I'm making you feel good too. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. You're like, you're, like, you're working on you're deep You're working stuff. like really hard over there. Um, should, do we, do you think we have to say what's new in Illustrator with this new system? Because it's pretty clear that it's Illustrator. Um, here. I would, I've, yeah, no. I don't think I don't. we need to do both, right? Because we say graphic design, it is Illustrator, and then we're saying what's new. And if you think about it, on wherever the thumbnail is, you're gonna have the title right beneath it. Totally, it's, it's actually already gonna say what's new in Illustrator. Yeah, totally. So, and that's a thing that's happening. Do, 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 do. You into it? I'm into it. I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What that I don't know either. It just <laughs> felt right. <laughs> 
Yes, it, it felt did. very good. So with what's <laughs> new, I'm gonna now add some little what's new Memphis graphics. And since graphic design is my favorite, I'm starting with my favorite little design. Doop de doop. Putting that over there. I love you the squiggles. Do it. You work your magic. Working magic over here. Um, squiggles are always more fun when they're like on an angle. I'm replacing all these trees with like mm. brushes and pins and maybe stuff like that. I like that. And hopefully. Yes, yeah, so that it all makes like sense it. for what you're creating. Yeah. I like that. You're so good, Paul. How did you get this way? Just, well, you are very complimentary. Well, I'm working with one of the best, so. Oh, see, look at that. I That's know. a true pro. True pro. True pro. Little did you know I was talking about myself. <laughs> I know. Very, and she's back. And I'm back. <laughs> You're like, true pro, and now you are Slytherin. <laughs> there, there's there's the my Slytherin. Slytherin. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know. It's so bad. I think we only want stuff. three, since, since there's like a lot going on here, I don't want to overwhelm. So I'm only going to put three little objects to keep it like simple. I look kind of creepy in that photo. I'm like, hey, I'm in a city. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Yeah, when was that taken? Like, uh, just a couple that? weeks ago in Chicago. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I was like, hmm, I'll put in the less creepy one. <laughs> when I say creepy, I always find myself to look creepy in photos. Really? Yeah. That's funny. Okie doke. There we go. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, this one. Oh, yeah. This one's too fat. I'm going to use a thinner one because it's more appropriate for this layer. All right. So we've got that. I'm going to... Uh, little Richard Cumberbottom the father of all the other bottoms of Cumber. Let's see, I'm gonna knock that down. Thank you so much, Voodoo Val. 42 minutes to portfolio reviews, which will, will be fun, right? Then it's payback time for Judge and our, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, that's right, it's payback time. Whoever we judge payback. is gonna get it. A hundred percent. So what are your plans for the weekend? Oh, oh. I do know what your plans are. Yeah, my okay. nephew's coming in town. I'm so excited. So every time one of my nephews graduates uh, high school, I send them out here for a uh, debaucherous weekend with me mm. so that my sister can um, know that I'm a good aunt. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah. How many, how many uh, I have nephews? three nephews. Three nephews, nice. Yeah. Do you know how many I have? How many? 17. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's just I'm ridiculous. <laughs> 17 nieces and nephews. That's insanity. Yeah, that's like a lot times of a thousand. How I'm do one you of even five do that? And like had two siblings. They had, they what? had, they each had five kids. Another one had four. Another what? one had three. No, that's so many. What, what were they thinking? I, I mean, know. like, yay for no. them. No, it's like su super awesome. That's super awesome. fun, though. I just get to be the fun uncle with Gosh, like, no kids. don't you love that? Yeah, me too. Yeah, right? I'm like, oh, look at that. You guys have to go do this stuff and pay for things. I'm like, good luck with that. I'm going to go have some fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to go work. <laughs> Let's be real. Right? Yeah. But I'm like also going to like sleep in on the weekends. I don't you know do what that. I'm saying? I wish I did. I just can't sleep that late. My body won't allow it. It's oh, like, really? get up. I know, because I got a text at like 6.30 or something super early. Yeah, I was up. Early, I know. Saying, I was hey, like, hey, what are you wearing today? <laughs> what are you What are you wearing? <laughs> I was oh. like, maybe he's awake. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and, uh, I'm that's awake. What I was, that's what, yeah, I was like, what is this? Mm -hmm. That happened to me so early. Mm -hmm. But we You're like, I'm still laying in, yeah, yeah, we're wearing black. <laughs> I'm still laying in bed. You're like, what are you doing what texting me? Like, no, well, and I don't have it. Like vibrates on my wrist, like this. The darn oh, Apple really? Watch does that the does that? Thing. Yeah. Why do you do that? That's so. cool. That's a horrible idea. I just turned it on the other day. Who knows why? I like it. Um, I think you're going to have fun with that when people like me start texting you all the time in the oh, morning. Man. Now that I know you're hey, wearing it. What are you it. wearing today? What are you? You're gonna text I'm gonna me. Like, hey, you're gonna text me tomorrow. How's that watch going? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Wait, is your watch working? Yes, hey, Paul, your watch what are you wearing today? Paul? We're done. We're done with the show. You're like, why are you asking You're me like, if we're going to coordinate? <laughs> I mean, the answer is yes, I will wear. We will coordinate. <laughs> yes, but, <laughs> but I just won't see but you when also, I'm doing it. <laughs> and also, you know, that's not a 6.30 a.m. call that yeah. I really need to make. I know, right? Because I didn't hear back from you till like 9.30, and then I changed. You I did? changed for you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, I guess we're going with black. I was on a and call. I, and I was on a call, and then I didn't get back to you until then. <laughs> I was like, great, what are you wearing? Okay, now it looks like he has little ears. This doesn't look right. <laughs> look, he's like, I'm in a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's like he's got a space helmet. I on. know. <laughs> so I'm gonna move these around to make sure that we're appropriately adding graphics where it makes sense and they look normal and not like we're designing for him. Okay. Um, I like that they all have this like similar placement going on so that it's a system. Systems are my favorite things. I like systems. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> what? Where Raj says add stroke styles or brushes for the strokes. Strokes, strokes, uh, styles. You know. Yeah, you uh, could, but yeah, I but will I think say... it'll start to look a little messy. I want to show. Yeah, exactly. So if we did a stroke style, it looks a little bit too crafty. Mm -hmm. Or if we did one that's a little bit more, you know, although we could do that. Although I like the geometry, but this isn't bad. I like it. I think I think this? keep it simple. Did you vary the stroke? Yeah, that was a stroke variant. Yeah, I would do that. Do, no, yeah, I don't want perfect. to. I want to keep it simple because we. It's not. It's about, not about the art. It's about the person. Exactly. So that's why even these are getting a little bit wild. But this is for what's new. So I think that's okay. Yeah, I, and again, just simpler might be a little better. Yeah. Uh, wow, Agreed. Kita has a big family, looks as well. Really? Grandma had eight girls, oh, six yeah. boys. Cousins are fun. She was a twin. That's awesome. I have an aunt and uncle, guess what? They're twins, twin. and they're born on... Uh, Fourth of July. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Leap year. <gasps> so leap cool, year? so they're only like five years old? Yeah. I love that. Yes. I've always twins wanted to like... Twins born on mm, leap year. That is so cool. Or whatever leap day That's you call it. That's super fun. Leap year. Do we have any twin? I wonder if we have any twins joining us. Just we know a twin in our house right now. Twins. Paco's a twin. Oh, that's right. Paco's, Paco's got a twin. A twin. That's like, right. We don't know if that's actually Paco. I don't know. I mean, either. sometimes I yeah. question him. I'm they like, are wait, identical. Is right? this on dress? Have like, those no. been your glasses the whole time? Are those time? your glasses? Yeah. Oh, we were wearing oh. them. <laughs> The Weird. mystery glasses are I'm like, sold. whatever, prop glasses. Yeah, just like, throw them over her shoulder. <laughs> You're like, that's silly. <laughs> Where's the these prop candy? <laughs> these are silly glasses. Silly. <laughs> these are obviously prop glasses. Obviously you know? a prop. They were cool because they fit. They were, yeah, I feel like they yeah. fit me well, too. I feel they like, like they were very prop like. <laughs> sorry, man. Yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> Jerks. Total jerk face. <laughs> but we can't help it, can we? <laughs> too funny. How's, how is this? All right, so. I don't like the asterisk, it doesn't feel right. And I want this to have a squiggle. We'll do something like that. That's, that's what I have for field trips so far. Oh, I gonna, love it. I'm gonna work on it some more. Like I'm kind of bouncing between Illustrator and Photoshop. And I love it. Can be. I think it's really fun. It feels. I'll like... curve it out because, like, now that we look at it with the font, the yeah. font's kind of playful. So I'll yeah. just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get rid of some of these angular lines. That's. I think it's cool because it feels like what you're trying to evoke is the emotion. Okay. For what a field trip is, you're like, okay, field trips should be fun. They should be crafty. They should be playful. And mm -hmm. this is all about like learning and being friends with people, and you know, understanding that it's a step by step. So that's cool. cool. Into it. Yes. I just brought this in as I'm a into it too. Shape layer. Honestly, if you could, if you understand what's going on on our screens, that's impressive. Yeah, totally. Because there's like a lot of complexity, like. Uh, again, Christine's working in Illustrator. Above her, I'm in Photoshop. Mm -hmm. there's, a lot of th there's a lot of things going on. There and is. we're making design decisions. Yeah, too. in our heads too, but we're trying to say them out loud. Mm -hmm. So I'm making rules in my mind right now about, okay, every time it's a what's new, these get three little, uh, three little um, effects that are Memphis style, like uh, geometric 
objects that will then balance out the two circles here. So I don't want to do too many because that would be too much. I'm putting them in similar similar placements so it doesn't look overwhelmingly um, confusing when they're all together because these will be seen in mass. So we want to make sure that they don't look confusing. So there's three with two with one. One background, two core shapes to define the category, and then three little um, shapes to define that it's what's new. So there's additions. So now that we have that, we can take a look out. And it will kind of look like this when we see it on screens. So just different imagery here and there. Yeah, it so is So it's starting to really sing together as far as like, oh, OK. If I'm looking for an illustration uh, segment, I'm going to click here. Or if mm -hmm. I'm looking for uh, motion graphics, I'm going to go with purple. If I think it's UX, UI, or XD, I want to go with this more pink color. Um, and then you get into there, and you're like, huh, well, I'm really excited about what's mm -hmm. new. And there's a little bit more pizzazz, mom yeah. word. There's more pizzazz, pizzazz on what's new. Yep. So. Yeah, you can start to see it. You know what I you know what I'm working. learning from this design though, by the way, mm -hmm. is I think a lot of a lot of designs like need to be grounded. Mm -hmm. Otherwise they just everything looks like it's floating around. So like but you I which I usually think has to be like on the bottom or in the center, but you put this I think the bar on the on the side, on the right side yeah. grounds Different it. Different grounding. Yeah, it's, it's a side grounding versus just, bottom grounding. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. And I mean we could do it on the bottom to match these, but what that does is it removes some of the real estate that we get vertically. And it makes it a little bit more, um, like, it, it's not bad, but what it does is it then complicates it because we have to say illustration somewhere. And where do we put that that doesn't compete with the name? Yeah, exactly. So, Although I do like what you're doing there in general. Like, any, like sometimes you, the fact that you put that bar and the text is half on and half off yeah. is a cool design thing to do. Yeah, it's kind of fun. That was a mistake. Yeah, and but that's like, Cool. Although even your mistakes are good. my mistakes are good. <laughs> thanks, so thanks, Paul. I make great yeah. mistakes. <laughs> Have you seen my mistakes? Have you seen lately? them? They're so good. <laughs> so good. So now that I've done this, now what should I do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like <laughs> saving. What? I was like now so, what? So. <laughs> um, we have 31 minutes until we review people's portfolios. I, I have some thoughts. Yes, tell me. That may or may not be good. Mm-hmm. Um, tell me the tell me the thoughts that are bad. Well, so I can I'm just make them I'm, better. I'm I'm looking at the because sometimes the photos of the people are good. Sometimes maybe they're not. Oh yeah, like, I can vary the photos in there they... to show more. And then I was like, and then like, do you would you ever consider tinting the photos mm. or making them black and white? Oh, or something like that. Well, that's one more step that we'd have to do in order to, like, so somebody beyond me and you are going to be creating these images. So the less they have to do in order to do these on a daily basis, the better, in my opinion. Yeah. So I don't want to add any extra layers in order for them to do their job. So I'm not going to tint the photos, and I'm not going to put them in any sort of chromatic look. But I want to try it to see what it looks like. Yeah. And there are some things we can do, um, possibly. Uh, oh, yeah. We're trying to not have the person open up, do it, like do any Photoshop yeah, or Yeah, exactly. It's work. just like this is like mask gets added in. So what I'm going to do to show you how that works is I'm going to just change up some of the photos. So we can see, uh, where are we? So we can see exactly what that would look like. Ooh. About 30 minutes before we dive into our portfolio submissions. Oops. Oh, can I tell you this cool, cool tip? Yeah. Like probably the the biggest tip I've learned really uh, in recent history from well, Jesus. So hopefully me. you're getting involved in the daily creative challenges. Uh, this this is it, by the way. What? Okay. So I, if you could switch to my screen real fast. Um, this situation where like I need to paint in black, mm -hmm. and the situation is like I don't know what size my brush is. Oh yeah, like, always, all the time. I'm always like, Ugh. where's my? How did I? How do I fix how, this? Yeah. And the issue is this little guy, caps lock. I'm gonna turn off caps lock, and then your uh, brush. brush will appear. Oh yeah, 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 totally. So I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, but, I knew that. Oh, never mind. Then. Sorry, but they might not have known that. But yeah. obviously, I knew that. I mean, and come on, who am I? 
I'm your I must friend. Have... Of course I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is cool. I feel like I might have learned that on one of your shows. <laughs> I learned it from Jesus, and I was like, dude, that's happened to me before. Yeah, just right? like that simple. So you're like, it's just that um, easy. Oh, it's like couple, an infomercial. Couple other things I'm gonna do. Well, like while you're on my screen, I'm gonna yeah, go and talk about a couple more things that I do. One thing that I do definitely, I go in here to layers panel. I go into panel options, and I usually do a couple things in here. I always do layer bounds. What does that mean? I'll show you the difference. Let's do entire document. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what the heck this stuff is. I have no, right. I can't see it. Can't see it. But uh, that's what the entire document is showing you. It shows you the document size. If I do layer oh. bounds, so you go, we go from that to that. Oh, now I can actually see oh, what those are. Oh, so it shows you the outline of it. shows you the it. actual object. It'll show you That's the actual really object cool. as opposed to the whole canvas, and then your little thing in the corner. You're not going to be able to see that. Yeah. And I do a couple other things, too, just like me personally. Um, I always, I don't expand new effects, because I always end up closing those anyways. Yeah. I turn that off, and I turn off that. I'm like, don't add copy, because I, I knew I went with yeah. copy, copy, copy. I don't need that either. Yeah. And another thing I'll do is like, go in here. Like these are brilliant. Oh, yeah. I love how deep you can get with these programs. Seriously. It's so nice. And then in history, one I'm more obsessed. thing. I'm, just, I'm gonna go into history options. Uh, make layer visibility changes undoable, which is really sounds visibility complex. Visibility changes. Got but it. it means this is now an undo. When I click there, that's now an undo. Command Z, that's hmm. an undo. Which is just a good thing if you're dealing with lots of layers and you're toggling things on and off. If you want to undo it. Yeah, that's what I do. I like but. it. That's what you do, you undo. I undo. Yeah. I do the undo. Howard Pinsky says, he loves it when people message him, my brush isn't working. <laughs> my brush isn't <laughs> My brush is broken! I'm usually, what? well, did you pick? There's another. <laughs> Mobius is like do. caps lock, huh? You <laughs> see, oh yeah, yeah. See, see, see there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, I like the fact that you can now customize the toolbar too, so you can. Uh, really, this is how you can mess with people because okay, you can just. Yeah, I dare you to just eliminate one thing. Yeah, it's like, so hard. Just eliminate that, and then like, they're like, "What?" And then they're like, <gasps> "Where the heck <laughs> is the marquee?" And I'm like, "Did you update?" Creative Cloud, are you like up to date? Oh my god, and then they get freaked tools. out. Yeah. They start removing tools if you're not, we would never do that. No. You're like, yeah, if you don't update, they're just gonna, you, you know, you're gonna lose update. your stuff, man. Losing your stuff. You don't want that to happen. No, nope. you sure do not. Restore defaults. And I know somebody's gonna talk about this banana. There's the banana. So There's a banana? Happy about Where? That. There's a banana <gasps> in there now. Oh it's gosh! Right over Wait, what is that for? Did you make that? No, it's just a Easter egg. How do how do I get that? Okay, so open up customize toolbar. Okay. And then Wait, in Photoshop or in, Illustrator? In in Photoshop, oh, you do have man. to do it in Photoshop. Okay, fine. I don't know if I know any good Illustrator ones. And then you hold down what is it? Option Shift or Control Wait. Option Shift. Just hold down all those keys and hold then on. click done. Okay, so open up toolbar. Yeah, let's Oops. switch to Christine's how screen. To and show me how, all... Paul. Are you? Okay. Yeah. So right on the three little dots. Three dots, yes. Oops. Wait, click, hold it down. Click, Just clicking, edit, edit toolbar. toolbar. And then in this, when you're in this dialog, just hold down like all these keys. Yeah. <laughs> and then click done. That's what oh, you do. Hold, hold down, down all these and then done. click done. Wait, where'd my banana come from? Where is it? Let's try it again. Maybe it was the wrong keys. <laughs> Hold on. Edit toolbar. These ones, done. No. Help us had I know somebody knows this, the exact keys. Maybe it's... Try Alt, Option, clicking on the Auto button. Uh, I'm probably really doing Alt, where? Well, oh. it's definitely when you click Done, you have to hold down. Let's Oh, and Shift? Down. Yeah. Did you done. hold down Shift? No. Try it again. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the right... Now what? This, we're going to do this. Try it again. We're going to... We're getting there. <laughs> I did add a frame tool though, yeah. so that was cool. Try that. I'm getting okay, all these that. tools. <laughs> Where is this banana? Just shift works. Okay, we're doing it. We're holding that. Okay, I don't know. Where's like, my banana? I, I, I don't. Banana me, man. Banana me. I, okay, I did shift, by the way. Claudie, I did shift. shift. Is it in here secretly? I think maybe. I don't know if you have the. Oh, I don't, I don't have the latest. That's I, don't, I think it, it is like you don't. But you have that dialogue. 
The banana's got to be there. Bananas are my literal favorite things. I know. Oh. <laughs> I feel so Oh, gypped. yeah. That's a good question, Damien. Like, you are... Can you view oh, this Oh, one row icons? Let's do this. Shift. Shift what? I think They just shift. said shift would work. Nope. All right. Well, anyways. we're gonna find this later because I will have Come that on, banana. Give me a, My give me banana. something I can throw. Give me a. Oh, where's so the? Upset. Darn it! Oh, we're take so... Paul and just throw him across the room. Whoop, there I go. <laughs> Whoop, there he is. All right. So, good thing we spent so much time on such an important. Like, it is important. <laughs> Sometimes you have these design obsessions that just. I'm, I'm glad that yeah, I'm glad that one thing we couldn't do was like totally really not design. Related, yeah, really not design related. <laughs> uh, what do you what do you think of my field trips? Uh, I like it so much. It looks like you're going to Penn Heaven or like the mountains of Pens. I like it. We're going to the mountains where Pens exist. <laughs> like you're in the car and we're like driving up the mountains and we see the Penn Mountain and Brush okay. Mountain and Pixel yeah. Mountain. I don't I know love if there it. needs to be like a lot of the... No, I love it. I think but... like one, I think the two that you had before is good because then you can see the, the actual outline of them. Okay. Because these will be really small eventually. So, yeah, I'll just leave that alone. So wait, should I be um, working on... Um, oh, if the bar is collateral? floating, it doesn't show. Claudia said if the bar is floating, it doesn't show. Oh. So you'd have to... That's got to be it. Maybe that's this it. is super important. Do now. people annoy... Are, are, you need to view your whole application frame. If you go mm -hmm. to... Uh, oh, he's got bananas there! <laughs> the banana is there. The banana Look at is the there. bananas there. I don't know what you did. I don't know what I did either. But it's there. I just moved it. All is right in the universe. I don't know what I did, you guys. All is right in the universe. We did it. So. Super banana is on my screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right above your head. Where, where, where? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like Wayne's Road, but with a banana. Took a while. Took a yeah, while, but we, we got, got there. Okay. Uh, field trips. All right, so. I'll mix up the background, do some fun things there, just FYI. So, Paul, should I be doing like anything else? Like, um, you were mentioning some coasters or yeah. graphics of some sort. I could make some plain graphics of what these would look like without photos. You know? That way we can take a look at how, like, how does this system come to life when we're not using photography? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that while you finish uh, creating what some field trips and yeah. mornings and build a brush and build a bear <laughs> and <laughs> build a build friend, a build a better designer. <laughs> totally. Uh, um, <laughs> you're yeah, like, you cool, do, you're like, you, you do, do that. <laughs> you do your thing. I'm gonna keep you, doing my you thing. Do, you do you. Doing me. Um, 1920 by 1080. All right, cool. So I'm going to dupe that out. Dupe, de dupe, dupe. And I think now dupe I can take this and then show my reference over here. Be like, these are our reference. Um. And I'm going to make, what, some, what you, I'm oh, gonna make some graphics that show how these things come to life. Actually, no, I'm not going to do it that way. Okay. Cool. Like animated? No, not okay. animating an illustrator. Silly. <laughs> that, um, would be, that would just be insanity. No, I'm going to like take the photos out and show how we can utilize these without, like when we're not doing thumbnails and we're not doing like shows, how can this system work? Oh, okay. How can we expand the identity? Essentially. Yeah, like if you like don't what are the elements? If you don't have a person. Yeah. Or system elements. Oh yeah, or if we don't have a person. <laughs> totally. Well if we don't have a person we put in work. I think I think the idea of stickers and coasters is also a fun thing to like brainstorm. Yeah. That's yeah. Don't you think? Totally. But I like I like what you're doing here. So this is more just like I'm gonna get rid of these things and play around. <laughs> How is everyone doing? This yeah. is a fine How is Thursday we're having. This is a fun Thursday. It's kind of like our. It's kind of like our Friday. 
It, it always is. feels like Friday around It always Thursdays. feels like Friday and Monday for me at the same time, just because that's my life. Oh yeah. <laughs> it always feels like Friday and Monday. Yeah. So I'm gonna just make them square and see what we can do with squares. That way we have them. Sounds good to get me. Get rid of my name, because that's not needed. And maybe we could split screen so you can see what we're both working on at the same time. That would be great. Yay! That's so good. <laughs> Bye! Um, and I'll just make this a little larger to kind of like fill everybody in, because I was playing with the background. I'm mm -hmm. like, what's gonna, what's gonna be a good background here? So I was trying different images, and then I was getting into like gradient maps, which happened, I don't know if Tim is with us to, right now, but uh, I was using Tim, gradient, are you with us? Gradient maps. Are you with us right now, Tim? So that's a, that's an okay one. This background's a mess. So that's when I, I'm just trying to make some color unity here. But do unity. You, do you ever do, do you use gradient, gradient maps? Me? Yes. Yeah. Masks all gradient, the time. Gradient map? No. Gradient map? What's a map? So let me show you. Right here, uh, right down here, mm -hmm. gradient map. So you can see that. It's a adjustment layer, adding gradient map. Basically enables you to map the darks and lights of the photo, like regardless of all the colors, mm -hmm. and map them to this gradient. So this inverted. Oh, cool. It, but this is, so this is like, this is what it does. It takes all the darks. Mm -hmm. If I click on this one, this maps all the darks to, are to now red. red and the lights are green. That's so cool. I've and never then it's used just, that tool. It gives you like the craziest, it can give you the craziest results. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I do have extra ones loaded in here. Like that's why I was gonna do like, do I do like figure out a green one? I'm not saying this is gonna work. You're like, but I'm saying it's gonna work. Yeah. If I, <laughs> if I know what You're I'm like, doing. Like if I know what I'm doing, which I do. Yeah. <laughs> Good one, Paul. Uh, so funny. No, actually, I don't know. But that's kind of the fun part of it all. It's like, is this gonna work? You're like, maybe. 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 But this is like way too much green. I'm getting. It's making Are you me greened sick. out? Sick. Yeah, it's making it's so me. Gross. It's making me sick. It's gross. I am it's a sick gross of this. color. Yes. But oh yeah, I was gonna say one more thing about this. By the way, just go in here. Your gradient map. Um, you could load up additional ones, basically. So anyways, I'm gonna get rid of this because this is ugly. Bring it back. I think this is- I love when we use technical terms like ugly and cool and cute because I really do feel like those are actually needed words in design that people will shun away from using. Right? But it's true, like we shouldn't be so um, fussy about words and having them always have to have certain meaning. I think mm -hmm. that some colloquial words like cute, ugly, fussy, sexy, you know, gross, is still applied in design. Yeah. And it yeah, should be used. Those are like the best words to use totally. for, for something. Totally. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. yeah, it was kinda Into it was it. kinda sick before. It, <laughs> it was felt sick. kinda it felt was. barfy. It did. I was like, this is I was like, gross. <laughs> this is getting gross. I was like, why are you using it's green? True. It's so gross. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> agreed. And I was like, well that's okay. Mine's really Real. bland right oh. now. <laughs> Bland is a great food word. <sighs> food words are great for design, I find. They help okay. me. Food words. Food words like bland or unappetizing or <laughs> disgusting. Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. I did, I shared some more graphics with you. You did? Uh, just FYI. Ooh. I can only grab. That was a weird response. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> My friend Jessica Ooh. does that all the time. She's like, ooh. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, that's a that's a fun sound. It is actually. a fun sound, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's funny. There's like so many graphics in here that I've actually shared with you. So really? So many. Yeah, why'd you do that? I'm I not using any no, of them. I know. <laughs> There's too many, like, I didn't know I put all these in there, but I need to like kind of get this pared down. Yeah, you gotta get your Why stuff together, man. Look like, what are you doing over there sharing all those graphics? Even. You're I giving me your it. tools. 
You gave me a banana. Oh, I love you know it. what's wrong? I'm like, oh, give me all this, of your secrets. Ah, I'm so glad this came up, by the way. This mm -hmm. is the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes if you could search in your libraries, which I do all the time, but I I'll, I always forget to clear it out. So it oh, actually me was too. giving me You're all the results of art. So it was giving me 358 results, not what's in Adobe Live. Oh. But uh, now that I clear this out, I did not share those crazy graphics with you. What I did share with you is these gorgeous ones. Look oh yeah, paint. totally. Those are pretty. Look at that paint. You shared those with me? Yeah. Thanks, that's cool. But uh, they came from Chroma Supply, so check out what, I don't know if it's chromasupply.com, um, but they give away some free textures on occasion, and these ones were just like really cool. I love it. So, that is yours. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for being so good as a design friend. Uh, Paul gave me some no uh, creative tips this morning. I was showing him a project I'm working on outside of this, and um, we did a little brainstorm. Which was really fun. Like, it was. You, you just need that as a... Uh, you need it as a designer. Like, right? You need your people that you yep. can call upon when you're like, ooh, you know what, I'm kind of like, I'm at a loss for where to take the rest of this. Mm -hmm. What would you do if this was yours? Yep. And that's why you have to have other friends in the field that you can ping and be like, Hey guys. <laughs> Plus, I think I think you were probably staring at it for a while. Yeah, you said you I was. Were up, like so late working on it. I was up it. till two a.m. working on it, oh. and I was like, I am. But I started it like it was a new concept, and I started it around like ten thirty at night. Okay. So I was like, Ugh. I was feeling it. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's definitely. But I mean, and you it's know funny it when is. you do you work late and then you wake up the next day and and it's still there. And it's. <laughs> and it's I was like, wait, it didn't make then, itself. This I don't know. Just this like, wasn't a dream. It looks the it, same. You just look at it different. Like you're you like, don't why know. did I stay up that late working you're on this? I do that. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> like I work, I work so late too. And then when yeah. I and, and then I wake up and I'm like, I hope what I did last night was like cool. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. Because I'm like, I do it, it all was the time. late and it was dark and I was really into whatever really, Netflix yeah, shows are. And yep. And you were like, just what like, what did I make? Did it, was it horrible? Was it bad? Yes, yes it was. Which is huge, like seriously, like take breaks. Take breaks, it's important. Yeah. Um, remember when that was actually a thing? Like you should only work on the computer for like 20 minutes at a time. Yeah, they were worried about us. Yeah, they yeah. were like, It's like, don't thanks, work. thanks world, don't worry. We'll be <laughs> just fine. <laughs> we're like, we got this. We got this, yeah. We're like, 20 minutes. Now we have a uh, nighttime mode, so we have night shift. We can go mm. all, the, all the time. <laughs> So I'm turning this into like little things here. What's new? Like for social media. Sweet. What's new? And then I also wanna, I'm gonna launch, I'm gonna open up this uh, social media video just so you can get some inspiration too, just FYI. Oh yeah, cool. Let's... Our inspiration video, that would be good. So this is just like one of the uh, trailers. Uh, excuse me, one of the intros, but they're all similar to to this style, which is like uh, gradients that actually have a texture to them. Um, uh, so cool. I love that. I love uh, that swirl. It looks yeah. like a lollipop, doesn't oh. it? It's cool. Like this, this needs to be in the background. This needs to be. Mm -hmm. That needs to be something this, wild. This needs to be like in mine, I think. Yeah, like, you should put that in one of your um, backgrounds for something like field trip, maybe. Yeah. That could yeah. be cool. Or creative mornings. Yeah, creative, oh, that's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh, no, 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 field trips, for... ooh, mornings. Mm -hmm. No, wait, that's the, what about the daily challenge? Cause that feels really all encompassing for daily challenge too. You could use that anywhere. Um, yeah, I just I actually want to take this and use it for field trips, but make it a camp a camping scene with the same style. Yeah, would be fun. That would be really fun. Um, Look at that. That would be super fun. Yeah, absolutely. These are actually in After Effects. After Effects is awesome because you can actually take an animation. So they, I think this stuff probably originated Illustrator. They brought in After Effects, animated the whole thing added more layers and you could actually export a PSD from After Effects. Yeah. So ultimately that's what I need that that's what I should be doing is getting the original assets. But. Do we uh put a bam at the end of what's new or is that just like a what's new? No, we don't. So then maybe I'll take out that exclam cuz I'm like what's new? <laughs> it's more of a question now. But we're going to answer. What's new? <laughs> 
I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you could, you could sorry. Um, if you were watching my screen, you'd yeah, know what like I was it doing. Look at uh, I'm like, Christine's screen. I'm like, do we know what's new? I don't know. What's let's, new? Uh, let's take that away. <laughs> what's Ooh. new? And it's just the person sitting there, like, because they don't know. They're they, like, they expect uh, you to answer. Yeah. Exactly. So what's new? So what's new? And uh, they just and they read from chat. Yeah. Right. Anyway. Anyway. All right. What's new? What's new? <laughs> it beats me. <laughs> what's, what's what's new? What's yeah. going on here? Totally. We have so many. I got to. Mm. I was in a meeting this morning and learned new, new things. New Gosh, things. You get all the cool stuff. It's just like stuff that is Duh. so. It's it's still like way out there. Like yeah. It's like they couldn't even show any of it, but all really? the things that are planned for like Photoshop and stuff. I love it. So I wonder if we did. Do we have a version of the Illustrator logo ever where we use it without the black? No. Didn't think so. But I had to. You I had to ask. I don't know if you. You're like I don't know if you read the rules, but well, that's I don't a know no if you now. saw what I did. Like I definitely know. <laughs> I might need a. If you could switch to my screen or do a split again. Split us okay. up. Can you do the split magic? Mm -hmm. Split Bam. magic. Uh, I just did this sneaky thing here. Like I, I'm oh, trying yeah, to I make like it that. really yeah. like subtle, yeah, 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 and less like pronounced, yeah, to try to get away with it. Totally. And by the way, I think for those, co oh yeah, you do have a little bit of the pink in there because I think what's awesome about this animation is like some of those colors. Mm hmm Like these, like so. I'm glad these are side by side right now. Yeah. Like I don't know if you add more of a pink splash. Yeah, or that's whatever. what I was wondering. I kind of want to vary up the for these because it could be more fun. And the thought of and uh, less systematic in some ways. Yeah. I don't know why my colors are not really showing. I have to. I have to figure this out, everybody. Transparency is normal, but oh, oh no wonder it was too. multiplied. Okay. They were multiplied individually. <laughs> Jerks doing their own things by Just themselves. Showing you some of these other elements, by the way. Like there's this little guy. Like that circle with the lines through it. Do you see that? Oh yeah, That's that could be cool a too. Neat, neat element. I like that. This is super fun. Oh, we have six minutes left until portfolio review. We got to jam, Paul. Oh man, I gotta get this done. Yeah, you gotta I'm, get that I've done. Been, like, I feel Stop like hanging just been out. Sitting on my hands. Stop sitting on your hands. Literally, get your hands out from under your butt. There they are. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, that's another great idea. What? Ah. Oh. This is what I do. What did I do? No. This is what I do. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Yeah. But I, I'm just full of ideas. Yeah, you got six whole minutes. Mm -hmm. Campfire. Uh huh. Flames. Yes. But you you make it look like it's a brush. Oh. So it's a brush that turns <gasps> that looks like flames. Brush from flames. A yes. See, this thing. is why you do the Photoshop stuff because I'm like I would never have thought of that ever. Yeah, like and right, that is super cool. This would be yes, that with like the brush that, in masked in, like kind of a. You know, a yeah, it's and a like campfire. you're watching genius. Seriously, yeah, it's like Genoa. Genoa. <laughs> Genoa. That could be your name. You know, we could call you Genoa. Genoa. This is Genoa. <laughs> Jean. <laughs> How you just said it there? Genoa. Jean. Jean. Genoa. I like Genoa. What is Genoa? What is like that, that means gen generous? Genius. No, it means genius in French. No. Where is Michael yeah. when we need him? Off français. Hey, didn't you spend time in Paris? Aren't yeah, you going I back did. To okay, Paris? yeah, I am going back in June. In June, like in less than a month. Awesome. That's gonna be really fun. Uh, I don't know if anybody is super monochromatic. Who, who does anybody know the word for genius in in French? I think it's genius. You know, no? would be cool. <laughs> You're like no, this are feeling a little bit like not punchy enough right now. But I just want to get some ideas out there, so then, then I can play later. What's new, everybody? Oh. <sighs> there it is. Mm. I think I'm just gonna leave this like that. Yeah, you should. I don't know. What that took about me that. long enough. Took you long enough. <laughs> it's like a I'm slowing <laughs> down. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, 
Going for research. Ah, that's what I was going to do. What? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I won't. Jeez. <laughs> Never mind. What, Paul? What, what? Paul? What? 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 <laughs> I'm going to pull out some of the color. Sure. Okay. So yeah. this, obviously, this this doesn't work. I'm just going to paint on this mask with white. I love it. You're like, obviously. What? What? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? doing? <laughs> What? What you? What are you, what are you gonna do? What, what are you, what are you gonna, gonna do? do? <laughs> you make me laugh really hard. <laughs> this is Chen when you're like, whoa. <laughs> was good. Oh yeah, a little. Anyways, <laughs> that's good. Fine. Boy, that took me forever. But I'm excited to check out. See, this is perfect. Like when you do get stumped on a design. Uh huh. Look over at what I'm a, doing. You need a palette refresh. Yeah. You need to like. Palette refresh. Just go a palette cleanser since you like to use food terms, right? Yeah, right. Which is go look at other stuff. Go, go look at. Go, 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 go play elsewhere. soccer. Yeah, play soccer. Go, go play or, or football. Or like Jesus does. Or football. Those are both good things to go do. Uh, I encourage everybody tomorrow, um, join Jesus, is going to be doing the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge, and call him, his family, I'm sure it's fine that I say this, yeah. but call him Freddy. Freddy? His, his family calls him Freddy, so just I be love like, hey, that. Freddy, what's up? Hey, Freddy. So that's what his family calls him, be like, hey, what's Freddy. What's up, Freddy? So I figure by day five, you've gotten to know the guy, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, cool. All right, so that's done. Let's take a look at these others. Why is that looking like that? These should match. I have shortcuts to tile the artwork. Anyways, I'm gonna drop this. Why are my gradients doing this different thing? Check it out. I am using the same, same gradient same uh, stroke of gradient, but this one looks darker over it. This shape. And it's not, oh, 85%, that's why. Oh, there you, go. <laughs> you, just, you just had to but talk it out. But now it's darker. It shouldn't be. Oh, and this is 85%. There we go. That was so weird. Yep, just gotta talk it out. It's like anytime I have an IT problem, I'm like, huh, that's strange. And then I'm like, oh, right, because it is strange. These are a little weird right now. I'm not sure if I like this. I think it's too much. But we're playing, so it's okay. Yeah, it is good. Wow. Less than a minute. Less than a minute. Uno momento. My machine, I think I need to get a new machine. It's like working really hard and it sounds like it's working really hard. Thank you, Guara, for your suggestion. I would, I should put more green in the background for my design. Noted. And Did we decide teal. that was barfy? Or was no, that the other one? Yeah, <laughs> uh, trust me, I took, I took that way took out down. all the barf? It needs to be a teal and green. Good. Gradient, like fun, that, 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 that's color scheme. Cool. So. Love it. I'm gonna make these right aligned so we can type anything there. Oh yeah. Mm hmm Is it time? It's time. Portfolio Je time? Genie. Like G like genie. That's in French. That's ah. ge genius. Oh, it's like gen gen genie. 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 Yeah, genie. Genie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always wanted to say genois, but I'm sure that means something totally different, like towel. Or yeah, <laughs> or Towel. foie gras. You know, yeah. I'm like ah, foie gras, <laughs> foie gras, foie gras, foie, foie gras. Foie gras. <laughs> oh, Too fun. So you're the funniest, Paul. You're the funniest. No, you. No, you are. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what's not funny and what's kind of what? what's awesome. What as well is uh, portfolio reviews. Yeah, let's do it. You ready to? I'm take ready off? to do it. Yeah. Okay.
We're going to take off with reviews. portfolio reviews. Shall we jump in our spaceship? Yes. And do this? Let's do this. All right, let's do it. Portfolio review portfolio time. Portfolio review time. We're floating. We're in space. We're wearing our space hats. We have space hats on. Space hats. <laughs> Why do we even have these indoors? We're in a spaceship. I don't know. But you know. Yeah, we don't need them to do anything, but I really like the way they feel. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. All right, this will be fantastic. We had to view these awesome portfolios from space because they're so amazing. Space. I'm going to take mine off. Whoa. Sweet. Those were space noises for Voodoo Val. I saw Voodoo out there. Oh my god, oh, yes! Floating away! <laughs> god, I love it here. That was awesome. <laughs> so many oh, man. things. It's amazing Famous up Paco. here. You never know yeah. what you're going to run into up here. I know, literally. It. Very cool. Here's our portfolio. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Let's pull it up full screen. Boop, 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 boop. There we are. Fantastic. Oh, so, man. Congratulations, Corey Davis, graphic designer. Corey Davis. From West Jordan, Utah. Ooh, Congratulations, Snugs. Corey. What's Snugs? I'm into mm. it. I'm into it, too. I uh, thought that was Z. actually the location that he was in, and Snugs, USA. And, by the way, coolest guy I know, just based on that profile pic. Yeah, cool coolest, profile pic. Coolest guy I know. Like, how cool are you? You're not even, you're like, oh, I can't be bothered with this. Uh, I like it. What's up? Great job. I love I think you would appreciate this. I do. I already portfolio. appreciate it. I'm like, one, it's got a very nice color palette. Two, it's very specific with you do logos and brands, and you can tell and see that I don't even need to read what you do. Mm -hmm. So unless exactly. you do something else, which I'm still gonna read. <laughs> yeah, we are we're definitely gonna check it out. Yes, and branding and identity. Fantastic. Creative well, I designer. Enjoy, I enjoy solving the puzzles of creating a simple but effective design. I love that. It's very concise and it's oh, right to the point. I love this. And I love this open for conversation. So what a nice yes. way to put that. Like Yeah, like if you want to talk, reach out. If yeah. you want to, you know. Very non-committal, like, hey, yep. let's chat. Let's very chat, yeah. That. Totally. Um, I like these. What yeah. is Remdy? Let's find out. Yeah. Oh, CBD. <clears throat> is that what I said? CBD. Inspired by wellness. Remdy. Oh, interesting. CBD oil. Is a brand, uh, it's a CBD oil focusing on, uh, it's bringing the benefits of CBD oil to mainstream markets. So going very mainstream, mainstream with this. And yep. even looking at this, this doesn't look like a, like a CBD, no, what, what I would all, expect. Yeah. So very, very well achieved. Yeah, uh, totally. All natural trustworthy product, something you'd be proud to share. I like the color others. palette. I think it's really nice. Yeah. It's kind of earthy, but you know, fresh and minty. What what really makes this this particular logo cool is I think this little notch right mm -hmm. there. Yeah, the notch in there right? is nice. Because otherwise, yeah. it would just I feel like it would be a little a little boring. And the yeah. color, the color, like yeah, you said. Yeah, totally. Although I'm unsure what that means and what it relates to with Remdy, because Remdy is a made up word. I'm assuming. So I don't know if it's explaining to me what the logo has to do with the product. Good good point. Good or point. with the actual feeling of the product. Yeah, that's a, so, I mean, because that looks like mountains. Yeah, mountains, which um, is, you know, it, but we don't talk about mountains except for we do talk about natural. Co convey all natural. Yeah. yeah. That's what he's going for. Yeah, totally. Trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Mountains, they're there, natural. They've natural. been there forever. Yeah. Let's see what else. By so the I way, would maybe put in a little bit more of that idea of like nature into it if you wanted to convey a more natural look. Yeah. Like maybe in the way that you're using the pattern in the background, because I like the idea that you're using the color really robustly and prominently, but maybe that's where more detail can come in. Mm -hmm. That could be cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice um, color. Is there yeah, more? This is great. Uh, I think that might be it. Oh. Uh, cool. Yeah, this is this is really cool, and this is like a whole new category. And I think the big the big thing they would probably say is to not use like the the pot plant, the marijuana yeah. plant. Yeah, like, I think you can, but don't... not in certain areas. So oh, okay. yeah, I think it's like dependent. But I'm thinking yes. in, in order to stand out from the industry. Exactly. This is that's what this does. Totally. So good. By the way, I scheduled a. Ooh, what's elder taco? Oh yeah. I already love this. It's like tacos for old people. 
This is your old taco. This but is established last established year. last year, but there's old. But elder. Elder taco. And is somebody sitting on a taco? No, they're bite it with their two front teeth. It's two <laughs> front teeth taco. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love putting like, secret beep. things like that in logos where I'm like, did you see the button balls? I was like, I made that in a real logo. Yeah. yeah. This is cool. As a Twitch affiliated streamer. Okay, cool. And content creator. So cool. Super Elder cool. Taco. So that's a person, not an actual taco. So that's why it has no like this need is... to look really like food and appetizing, which is super cool. Mm hmm Yeah. I like that there's a story behind this too. Oh, Ooh, pin. and a pin. Yes. The pin's cool. Pin is very cool. I almost wanna like to be honest with you, one thought with this is to put instead of the bite, uh -huh. does it look like the person's profile? Oh yeah, because it's actually a person. Yeah, or and maybe would that be a little clever. Or maybe like some sort of like I'm just thinking sunglasses, and I know that I don't want to put sunglasses okay. on a taco, but it does maybe personify it a little bit more. Yeah, personify so, a taco. Would yeah, be good. this is cool. Yeah, that was this is cool. That's yeah just a for fun. like a wall mural. Yeah, I really like it. the The bite could be more um, intense, like more mm -hmm. deep as yeah. far as the cut. So that you can see it, because in this especially, it looks maybe like a mistake versus a something in purpose, purposeful. Yeah, I think when, when it, if it's really when it's small, flat, it, it works. But it, yeah, when it's small, like it, you're saying, yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't have enough um, depth to the bite that's taken out. Yeah, I would just make it Good. more intense. This is cool, and I, I think it's also what's cool. Um, about uh, Corey's, like he has a certain palette. Notice how yeah. the palette has not deviated a lot, which is yeah, it's, it's kind of nice. like you know how it's you, a style. Like, everybody has kind of like mm -hmm. you kind of sometimes have a signature color. And yeah, things. yeah, like um, Katerini, Katerina Bianchini mm -hmm. has a very specific color style and palette that she'll use often. It's not the same color palette for every project, of course, mm -hmm. but she has like a certain style of like like muted colors that are done in soft tones that are really beautifully put together. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's cool to see people's style come to life. Totally, and speaking of beautiful, like Ooh, I think, yeah. I don't know, this is just a logo, it is, this is a whole it. logo folio, so mm -hmm. I don't know if we're getting any news, but yes, Very like, cool. I want this. I, I would, want that too. I would change yeah. the name of my company just to use this logo. Oh, I like that. Ooh, Oxygen. Oxygen. There we go, huh. that's the new name of my company. Yeah, Factoid. Ooh, Fun. I Fun. like that, that's really good. Is everybody seeing this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So good. Nathan Sharp's out there, hi! That's my nephew. Hey, Nathan Sharp. Hey, Nathan Sharp. You're so sharp. Yeah. He's Unless a sharp his, cookie, yes. Is, his middle name is? Is, yeah. <laughs> this is cool too. Corey? Core, core X, or core, which is the X is the core. Oh yeah, core, yeah. yeah that makes sense. Core X, Quark's gallery. gallery. You're right. It's mm -hmm. kind of like a guessing game. It huh? is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is stellar. Idiot. The stellar. mothership. Yes. I could easily see this a patch. Totally. Mm -hmm. This could be for camping. I like that. Stellar. Camp koala. Stellar koala. Oh, stellar koala. I want to see a koala in there now, though. Yeah. When you're saying stellar koala, I want that koala to be there instead of the arrow. Uh, a question for you here: Should these lines be the same thickness? I would just for ease of uh, the eye and also the way that we're connecting them in one place but not in the other places, that's tough okay. for me too. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Yeah, and that some of them have different, um, yeah, the width is, width needs to be considered. Okay. Cool. Overall. Ooh, M flight. Mayhem matchmaking. Oh. Isn't that what matchmaking is? is anyway? Yeah, totally. Mm, Dating is total, mayhem, love total it. mayhem. That's, I would like to actually see two different colors here. Oh yeah, me too. Two people coming like together, people. like a gradient in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or where it overlaps and they like the color comes together. And it's or like, maybe no. Boop. Yeah. Yeah. And and but I like the idea of like they're always missing each other. Yeah, totally. Because it's mayhem. Maybe it's like yeah. It's I want to like see it two be parallel less, um, lines that never touch. I want to see since it's mayhem. I want to see it be less controlled. Because it's mayhem. Like True. this feels really controlled and it feels purposeful. Whereas if um, it's mayhem, it's all like, yeah. whoa! And okay. then they smashed into each other and it worked. Kind yeah. of like a, mm -hmm. like two things happening where they shouldn't have. Yeah. That's what I want to see. Yeah, that would be, yeah. And if the reason for making, so this is nice. That's very nice. Stincelli advisors, Stincelli advisors. <laughs> I, love, I love that. I like the, I like yeah, the that's fun. Yeah, it works. Into it. Yeah, totally. Ooh, global stream team. <gasps> Is that us? 
No, but it's still cool. Friends, gamers, streamers, supporters. I like that. Yeah. Super cool. cool. Nice good job. job. Good thickness with the lines mm -hmm. and everything. Like, this good one job. works. That's that's, that's an wellness. interesting color combo. I, name, um, I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Oh, that's the Stellar Koala again. Very cool. I still want to see a koala in there because then you won't always have to call koala out. I just keep seeing, Do I see, I keep is seeing there buns in all of his designs. Yeah. <laughs> and roads. Roads leading into buns. Yeah, stop it. And that's a tramp stamp. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> on the buns. Oh, is that what that is? Sorry, Reese, we're on to you. I we get it now. This we're, is fun. Corey, we are on to you. We're on to you, Corey. There's a, an eye test. Ooh, no good. Your eyes are no good. No good. Your eyes are no good. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm looking over here. <laughs> You're like, what, what does it say? <laughs> huh? Is this what? <laughs> You're, you're saying this isn't a little blurry to you? I'm it saying is to it's me. no good. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. So cool. That is I, cool. I think it's just cool. Yeah. Ooh, backwards two, two are. more buns. Remedy parlor. Okay, very mm -hmm. cool. Parlor. I like With the flourish, it makes sense for a parlor. I want to see more flourish on the foot of the R, though. Okay. And I think I want to see more thicker uh, stroke for the R and the P. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't match that, and I'm trying foot. to figure out like what this is. It's holding it together almost like it's a like a like a vase that holds the, I think, or yeah. a bum. Are you, are you seeing another bum? No, <laughs> I am. No. There's the. I mean, now that I mention it, I'm seeing it everywhere. <laughs> Nathan Sharp's like, oh my gosh, now that's all I see. Thanks. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, <laughs> don't know with the designers that could be no, hidden, no. hidden things like you're hidden saying. Things. So okay, just give it a amazing time job. Check. Yeah, we'll just go over this last one because this is really fun. But then yeah. we gotta we just gotta you just want to see if there's more bums. Are there more bums in here? <laughs> I like side this. bum. Side bum. This is like a little bird. I like that. Let's see. It's uh, growing up. It's cute. This is probably my favorite thing so far because it looks like an animal. And it's playful, mm, and it also has an idea that it could be a little R, like a lowercase r. I don't know what it's for, though. Yeah. So I want to have more context and explanation and then see it in applications. I think that's one thing that you could do to make your portfolio strong, which you did in your first example was you showed it on packaging, where here, I'd love to see this. Maybe it's like an app icon for a child's game, or mm -hmm. it's like um, a little rotor router or something. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Something like a, it, it seems like a toy or something playful, but also technical, which I like. Tell yeah. us more. Yeah, tell us more. I'm really, I, again, I like, I'm into it too. Yeah, cool. I'm into it. It looks like an R, uh, and it's just a, yeah, it's, I love it when they, people do this. Do it's you? It's just like, yeah. It's just, That's fun. I mean, I love I it. Don't, I don't usually sometimes. design that way, but. I don't either. But I like to see it. Chaos. It's very well, gratifying. We are following you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. you. Thank Bam. you. Bam. Already appreciated. Let's move on. Corey All Davis, right. you're fantastic. Corey Davis, nice job. Next Keep it one up. up to we have Anthony, Anthony Sanchez. Sanchez. He's a freelancer at so social. I was gonna say society social, but social society. Social society. Super. In Garabo, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Love it. Love it. Uh, let's kind of read a little bit. Creative designer with an engineering background. This will be interesting. Oh, I like how you were like, hmm. Solve design related problems. Yes, engineering. You say. Hmm. Hmm. That's my skexy voice. Hmm. Is that your Yoda? <laughs> no, well, that's also my Yoda. Yeah, I only have one voice. Okay, same. It's also here. my mom voice. I do too. Yeah, like, I only have one I'm voice. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> First of all, congrats on both portfolios. Aren't like overwhelming, and yeah. this is like pretty consistent. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I think so Sometimes too. Sometimes people just throw everything at their portfolio. Like yep. looking at this, this is. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, well done. The Sketch thumbnails girls. are nicely oh, considered. Sorry, can we just like, look at so this? You are so funny, Paul. <laughs> He's like, Sketchbook, Sketchbook girls. <laughs> He's like, we got his. Okay, this is looking. I, I don't, I would just Im omit this first line. A collection of drawings of girls I've <laughs> seen. Oh, yeah, I would definitely omit that line. Like, yeah. Just be like, random you know, women sketch. that I've 
sketched out. You know how you're stalking? No. Yes, Corey Davis got my Skeksy reference. It's from The Dark Crystal, which they're remaking by, right now. And it's, apparently it's supposed to be way more uh, quality than um, Who's doing Game it? of Thrones. Game I don't know. Del, Del Toro would be good. I don't know, but it's going to be a series like Game of Thrones. I'm just obsessed with all of these. These are great. Oh, cats. This, I'm just like totally. Ooh, into yeah, it. look at those Angelina Jolie like lips. Obsessed Love with it. Every single one of these. Oh, like, super cool. This, like, you could literally, this could this be your could be portfolio. This could be your work. Yeah, if you go back up one, I really like the detail that you did here with the two color tones and the, the way that you're ending it after the uh, collar of the shirt. That is a great uh -huh. way. It seems like mm -hmm. a style that you could employ on all of your images where you end it at the collar. And then that way we're not like, we don't have to think about what the shoulder looks like or where they're placed. You mm -hmm. get the idea in your imagination. It's very imaginative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. It's really beautiful. Great. Uh, like this one would be awesome if you just end it at the collar and you have that, um, that idea. Then you don't know what she's doing or where she's at and you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Really beautiful. Yeah, you're like I like this sketchbook girls. Sketchbook girls. Yeah, that's fancy. Like this, yeah. could, you could build a career off of like totally. this stuff right here. Um, this could be your thing. What is? Uh, I can never. I can't remember his name. He was mm. in here. He does beautiful sketches. We. I hosted him, or he was on the same show. I didn't host him, but illustrator, who's phenomenal at both painting and um, drawing. We'll remember his name because he would be a really good person to look at for some reference. Look at this. We've switched Ooh. gears. More graphic design. Bikram Yoga, Puerto Rico. Oh. Well, I like the logo lockup a ton. I think this is um, super fun. Okay, so for that... Oh, the... The like, logo. Like, the lockup of type. Thing. Yeah, the type yeah. with the logo. Okay. I'm wondering about this. Do you... Because if you flipped it, you would have a B, but is that too literal, or what are your thoughts? What do you mean a B? If you flipped it, you'd have a lower case oh, B. Actually, yeah. no, how do you spell? I see Bikram. Yeah, that's how yeah, you spell Yeah, that's right. It. This, yeah, would so if you flipped it, it would be a lower yeah, case mirror B. Yeah, mirror it. Mirror it, yep. Um, I do think that it feels more fiery, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but mm -hmm. I want to see a little bit more blue come in so that it's more balanced because it seems too hot where yoga is both hot and calm. Yeah. Uh, it kind of yeah. reminds me of the Firefox that's logo. That's a good... Yeah, I would amp. I, would, I almost I would feel like you that. don't need this icon to do what you're doing here. The type alone is amazing, and yes. I would actually just make the type the type alone the word mark totally and get rid cool. of the icon because it's distracting me from how uh -huh. amazing the the type is. Yep. And then maybe make Puerto Rico smaller and Bikram Yoga larger. Yeah. Because that's beautiful type, and yep. I would wear that on a little shirt, and I could see that totally. place coming to life and put it on a card. And the fact that it's right aligned is interesting versus left aligned, which is more common. I would almost, I, I like another, an, an entirely new logo would be something based off of this type. Because yeah. even this O, sort of like Yeah, the yin O and could yang be enough. Could yeah, be that logo. could be the you icon. Just, maybe you offset it a little bit, mm -hmm. but like, I totally this agree. type is so good. Yeah. Yeah, and then these images are beautiful, so you could see how maybe juxtaposing them and putting them over these images to show how the logo would show up for social media uh -huh. or on a website. I think it'd be really great to incorporate the logo over your images. Yeah, yeah, it'd be really cool. And these look like the actual images. Yeah, like, bravo, cool. thank you for not using like stock photography. Yeah. Like, this might be stock, but like, still looks real cool. photos yeah. are so good. Um, ooh, can we take a look at this? Yeah. Because this is a daily creative challenge. So yeah. this is like made in one day. So cool. Uh, have you might have minutes. more. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we should we'll probably just scroll wrap. through these. Underwater. Good job. You did it. Right. <laughs> We're like, Boom. and we have five minutes. Ah, good job. <laughs> Vignetti. Fantastic. Amazing job, Anthony way, Sanchez. Love and this Ooh, too. love that too. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Bravo. Bravo. And I've been to that place. Isn't that in Milan? No. Vignetti? Maybe oh, not. Oh, the, uh, the, the okay. hall of The hall of shops, or is that in Belgium? It looks like uh. one of those. That's really pretty. Cool job. I mean, like, really nice job, you guys, both of you. Yeah. Just... Exceptional work. Mm -hmm. Anthony Sanchez, Corey Davis. Nice job, guys. Oh, by the way, like, speaking just by a comparison, look, this is my website from like 20 years ago. I love that, Paul. I don't know why I bred that up. That is it up. still your website? No. Oh, did you have be. to go Google this the is way that 19, you can find? like 97. Is that on that site that you can find old things? You know, like uh, the original? The Wayback way Machine. The Wayback Machine? Um, I, I gotta go on I found there. it on my hard drive. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're like, no, I just re I republished it as my new site. That's kind of like retro cool right now. Yeah, it's that's cool. true. You know, that's a good point. Paul's so backwards, he's forwards. I love uh, it. Yeah, that's You're right. Like, I'm so far behind. Uh, I'm ahead. Uh, <laughs> God, I love so. it. So. Oh, Corey, amazing. you are the man. I'm. Thank you so much for joining us. I didn't see yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. And, and uh, Anthony Sanchez is there too. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So good. Nice at, job, guys. Thoroughly, uh, thoroughly impressed. I am too. So should we wrap up and show what we've done yeah. today? Yeah. Let's thank do Thank you it. so much for hanging out with us. All right. Redesign of uh, various Adobe Live uh, yeah. assets and things. So Paul and I both have our screens. Oh, wait, now it's my screen. So this is, I'm just going to go into, wait, presentation mode? No. Uh, shift Hold P. On. Shift, shift F. F. <laughs> shift P. Shift F. Oh, no, I'm printing what? now. <laughs> shift F. Oh, Shift F. I was doing Command F. <laughs> You're like, get your stuff together. I'm like, like the the banana. <laughs> I want the banana. I'm like, I can't get it, you guys. That's what most of the stream was trying to find that banana. My key command abilities are like, calm. My, my fingers feel cramped right now. You know, there's so many key uh, commands. I'm like, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> okay, my T Rex arms did it. I'm back. <laughs> so I'm just going to go back to the beginning. Let's go to the beginning of our time. And I'll quickly run through so then we can go on yours after I'm done with mine. That sounds Perfect. fantastic. So we had our brief. We decided to put together some assets so we know what we're working with. That way everything was more about the design and less about figuring out what to do when. Uh, we looked at researching the current look and feel of the show right now. And this is how everything shows up. It's a little bit busy. So we're, that's what our goal was to make it more consistent. We put together uh, an organizational chart based on features. So from left to right, you can see how things show up in the column and where there's some anomalies, where there's color differences, as well as new shows. And then we looked at what we need to do. So we were creating a primary feature. We were creating category thumbnails, uh, an add-on thumbnail of what's new. And then we were creating four new show uh, visualizations that were unique to those shows. And this is the look and feel that I decided to move forward with for the category thumbnails and the correlating thumbnails for guest profiles. So when you're looking at it, these would be the category thumbnails and they correlate to the colors that show up in the programs that we're actually going to be using. And then we define this, oh, and it says graphic. Is that spelled right? That is, oh, it looked like a K. I was like, oh, I totally oh, that did that. Does look Wait. It looks like a K at the end, but it's an that, IC. The kerning wow. is weird. Oh, yeah. I was like, graphic, yo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just dropped the I. <laughs> graphic. <laughs> graphic. Um, graphic. So for the single thumbnail, what I did is I used a similar color to correlate the category, but I p dropped in graphic design on the side to ground it, which is just framing it. Um, and then I had created an idea for what happens when there's two people on a show. So putting both of them in place. And then what happens when we do a what's new? So we added a little bit of fun and jazz to that with some Memphis style designs and then changed the title to what's new and deprioritized the person versus the the idea of what is new. There we go. That's fantastic. That was a good Over to you, Paul. Over to Take you. us That's through. Fantastic. <laughs> I love it. You did such Thank a great job. Thank you very much. Applause. <laughs> Thank you. And then we'll switch to my screen really fast. And again, we'll just kind of down to our last minute as we switch over. Uh, you could... I was just trying to line all these up. Ooh, so they're they look not, so good. They're not all heat, like this one shouldn't be there, but Yay. nonetheless, this I love is, this creative is what daily we challenge. Have. So cool. And better know a brush. And better know a brush. So yeah, they're so let's unique. Actually, look at these. Boom. Ah, oh, so Boom. good. Here's a, here's a lot of them. Boop, but boop, I don't get to see all of them. Boop. Okay, good. Now I can see them. I want to see them in full frame. Okay, let's actually look at this one. Yeah, that one looks amazing. Look at the detail in the back there. That really makes me feel like. I'm going to learn a lot about like compositing mm -hmm. and brushes and Photoshop and it's so yeah. cool. I kind of did the photos black and white because I, f I felt like there would have been too much of a clash of colors. Uh, Daily Creative Challenge still could probably work on a little messy by the way. So mm -hmm. I would probably like make these graphics and the background fit with the like move this over and Got stuff it. like yeah, cause that. Yeah, because the title's not going to change. The yeah. the name will, but the title yeah. won't. And those are inter like intermixing with the title. So that's cool. Yeah. Okay. So you could good, definitely good. customize it. 
Uh, talons. I would still work on these shapes a little bit more, but I like the the color scheme. I do too, and, and it ties into there. the what's new portion where I'm adding some of those Memphis graphics yeah, into the what's true. new. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Uh, and then I, you know, I, I still need to work on it. I'm not crazy I, about the background. I, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think it's cool. I want to blur it out now. Yeah, I like the idea of this a lot, and it's really fun. I think maybe what I you would, did in the first, the one prior to this, where you added some of those Memphis graphics to it to ground it and give it more, that might show up mm -hmm. here. Yeah. That could be cool. Little geometric shapes to help to spread out that look. Yeah, and some things I still would want to do because I'm. I was trying to integrate like I want to. I want this uh, curve to look like the sun. Oh, cool. And stuff like yeah. that. So I want to yeah. like have more a marrying of outdoors. Yeah, with these are a little graphic. bit more complex, so they might take a little bit more time to create than just an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. An hour for all of them, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, I gotta think through some of this stuff. <laughs> You're like, hmm. Either way, really fun. I think this look more looks more like a cabin, so I'd like yeah. to have that be a cabin, and the, and the brushes can be trees. Totally. <laughs> Who knows what. Oh, I love that. But, uh, I wanna go to that so mountain much. range, the designer mountain range. Right? Yeah. Don't you? I do. So, I really love this one. And then that one. Creative Mornings is my second favorite next to build a better brush. Better build a brush. Build the bear with a brush. Build, build a bear brush. Building build, bears build. and brushes. <laughs> you could actually do this. Check this out. This is another pro tip. Boop. Pro tip. Uh, arrange. You could do match, uh, match <gasps> all, match zoom, match location. Oh so my let's gosh. just do like match zoom. <gasps> Everything that is, is that so size. cool. And look, your head is in front of field trips, so you don't have to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> You're and like, I'm and, on a field and, trip. And yeah, that's my favorite font is the one. Aww. That's above our There, head. we'll put it above. Yes. That's just nice. Yes. Field trip with us. Yes. Ah. Field, field trip with us every ah. week at Adobe Live. <laughs> we really appreciate you winding down now. Yeah. Definitely was super fun. We loved having you, all our amazing art directors. Yes, we loved being here. This was so much fun hosting and guesting with you. Yay! I had such a good time. I can't wait to do yeah. this again. Let's do it again. Thanks, Paul. Thank Thanks, you, Adobe. Christine. Thanks, Behance. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Paco. See you online soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.